public statement in our society. Live your truth. You don't have a truth to live. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If Jesus is the truth, you don't have one. What truth are you living? Mm -hmm. You live in the truth of your flesh and the truth of the influence of demons. Jesus said, I am the way, watch, definitive article in Greek, the, that means only, truth. Believers should stop saying, live your truth. That is a demonic statement. And it gives license for you to rebel against the word of God. Mm -hmm. mm. that fire. All right, so what did you think about what he said there? Fire. I think it's dope because we live in that culture where people always want to have their quote unquote truth because they don't want to submit to the things of God. Um, we think about submission, everybody wants to talk about relationships. I ain't even talking about that. We're talking about just submitting your life to the authority of God. Like mm -hmm. you never really see anybody in scripture move without authority, without being submitted somewhere. Even when you saw Abraham, Melchizedek just came out to smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you never seen any who who was the type of Christ they say. You know what I'm saying? So you never see anybody move without being submitted. And we have a generation now who wants to be in control. They want to have all the answers. They want to do things their way. Mm -hmm. And that's the, I think that's a large part of why people have such a problem with Christianity and with religion. Because you see these rappers and all these people uh, lately been subscribing to Islam. Like, some people believe they're supposed to be so disciplined and all this kind of stuff. These guys are saying we're Muslim, but they go out and do all these same mm -hmm. things. It's like... Where's the standard? You know what I'm saying? Well, Christianity, we're not bending. We're not saying, hey, you can do this and still be a Christian. Like, nah, you got to walk the narrow path if you're going to do that. And for, for some people, that's restrictive. That's, mm -hmm. that's invading on their goals and their dreams and their lifestyle. They want to have their own way, but their way is going to lead to destruction. Mm -hmm. um, so what he's saying is very accurate. If you're living off of your truth, your truth is a lie. And <laughs> the only truth is the truth of Jesus Christ and his gospel. Yeah, man. Yeah, living the truth is new age, man. Because it's, it's basically is... Um, it's basically we all roads lead to God, if you think about it. Because if let's say, you know, saying um, producer producer Jerry, his truth is that you know he can do whatever. Your truth is I only can eat vegetables. Your truth is this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So with that happening, it's all different people's beliefs, and it's like that. It's basically that sticker of coexist. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like know. like yeah. So it's like all truths. If, if it's a truth It all leads to God and Or it, it's, it's okay You can live your truth And it's like It's only one truth man It's, it's slick witchcraft Because <laughs> like We were talking about All this hidden witchcraft mm -hmm. Y'all yeah. familiar with Aleister Crowley Yeah yeah. Is that him His favorite, um, famous quote Is do what thou will Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah Do what thou will So that's pretty much What he's saying Like do whatever you want to do mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what They're pretty much saying I'm going to follow my truth I'm going to do what I want to do Like the author, the founder of that kind of statement was Alistair Crowley, who was the leader of the Satanic Church. Mm -hmm. So that lets you know the spirit and the mindset that comes from, like he said, you're following your flesh and you're following demonic influence. Mm -hmm. And some folks are not even aware of it. 